so my question for you, uh, our panelists, is what are the biggest challenges that you face in making sure that that customer experience ecosystem is healthy? And people in different departments from legal to HR to marketing are working together in a coordinated fashion to serve your customers and your business objectives. Everybody, everybody, every employee in the company realizes that we have a relatively small space that we sell into and if we don't create that excellent customer experience we lose a customer but probably we also lose 20 customers around that so it's really important to create that atmosphere. The organizing principle is really around the customer and so we've got a considerable overhaul across all of our digital properties to we call it our one digital experience right so having a consistent and integrated experience whether someone is engaging us in a community, engaging us on the website, uh, and specifically a very personalized experience because today we're no longer selling just to the CIO but to a host of different roles that are buying technology. The goal is at the end of the day, we know that we could fight upstream to you know, find, be the police to try to make sure everybody's aligned and saying everything exactly the way they should. But for us, the simplicity of just saying, everybody's job here is to engage more closely. And by the way, it can't just be external. You have to do it internally or it's not in the DNA. A lot of the way the organization is oriented, it's like there's not one big silver bullet. No one's actually looking for a silver bullet. Everyone's looking for their bullet in their sandbox to make it better. As we move to more of this customer experience culture, this customer adoption uh, approach, one of the key f things, learnings that was surprising to us is that customers don't expect everything to be perfect, right? Particularly not in the software world, they expect there'll be bugs, there'll be, it's how you react to that. In a cloud model where you're rolling iterative innovations out on a quarterly basis, um, and we also set up an infrastructure where uh, we have an early adopter program that can test it first and provide that feedback as part of the release cycle. You mentioned engage more closely as it sounds like a rallying cry. Is that tied to any specific uh, strategic objective um, at the organization? So is it something that's been mandated that every group is going to come up with its five or six metrics? No. Um, but is it pretty well understood across the board that when we do things, one of the first things we have to think of is how are we going to increase the engagement versus are we moving towards engagement or away from it and let's do more things that, that uh, move us towards. Mm -hmm.